Hi, my name is Mary and I'm here with Studio Us bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really lovely bee, sniffing a lovely flower, and we are going to be coloring with colored pencils. So, you're going to need your pencil, your Sharpie, and your pearl eraser. Alright, so I've marked the center of my paper, or what I think is the center, uh, just for some guiding lines and that's going to help me draw the rest of my picture. I've also given myself some dotted lines for our first two steps, so let me walk you through it. For our first step, we're going to have this, this slightly bean-shaped shape. This is going to be the body of our bee. Let's go ahead and mark the top of that shape, mark where it curves inward, mark the bottom, and mark the outside. I think that's about right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. I'm pushing pretty hard, but only so you guys can see it okay. You don't need to push as hard as I am. Next, we're going to have a, a larger circle that's going to go on top of that bean shape that we made. So I'm gonna go ahead, mark the top of that, the bottom, and the sides. Pay attention to where it overlaps our first shape and go ahead and draw that in. Clean up things as you go along. I have some lines here that I can get rid of. All right, excellent. Next, we have a little uh, oval shape that looks like it's going to overlap right about here. Come down to about here. I'm gonna go ahead and, and use dotted lines to block that in. You don't have to do dotted lines. I'm doing that just to make sure that I get the shapes accurate for you guys. And I'm gonna block that in. And then we have a really lovely ellipse right here. And this is going to be our flower. So I'm gonna mark the edge of that. I'm going to mark where the top is. It's about that far from our B. And I'm going to mark the top. So when you draw an ellipse, it's kind of a fluid motion. It's like a pancake shape, right? So flatten it out. Go ahead and draw that in. Perfect. And I'm going to round out this edge just a little bit so we have a little more room. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna go ahead and erase this line and this line. Very good. And then we can start adding some of the details to our B. So I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna get this wing shape in first. Looks like it's going to overlap about right here on our circle. Pay attention to where this line, uh, the distance between this line and this corner here. Uh, and it looks like it's gonna come down and over like this, okay? Around like that and up and over. Perfect. So once I know that that shape is correct, I'm gonna go ahead and draw it in. Very good, clean up any lines you need to. Then we can start putting in the legs here. So there's one that's touching this oval right here. That's gonna be an easy one to get in because we know that it's going to touch it. It's gonna help us measure. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this line here. That's the edge of it. And it's gonna come down like this and come down like that. Just a little sort of candy corn shape. Perfect. Then we have another one of those shapes right about here. Looks like it's gonna overlap right there and about right there. There's just a little tiny curve like that. And it's going to come up like this. So, let's do that again. It's gonna come up to a point right here, come down and around like that. Very good. 
So pay attention to how much space is between these two legs and the slight curvatures of these lines, right? This side comes up further than this one does. We'll get this nice uh, oval shape in over here. Looks like it's going to overlap right about there. It's gonna come around and go to about there. And it's gonna come up to about here. So we'll go ahead and draw that in. Very good. We finally are starting to put in some of those petals. So let's go ahead, let's mark where that, the top of that petal is. It's gonna come down a little bit right here, but that's okay. And it's gonna come around like this to a, a point, a rounded point. Perfect. We're not looking at the petal directly above, we're looking at it slightly from the side. So that's gonna help us place it. I'm gonna go ahead and connect those dots. All right, let's go ahead and erase some lines. We're gonna er erase the inside of this wing here. And we're also going to erase the inside of the legs. So we're gonna add on to our legs here. And we're going to make an even bigger wing right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to mark where that wing meets this first one we drew. Looks like it's gonna start about here and it's gonna come this way. It's gonna overlap the body right here. It's gonna come over like this and then come out in another bump, just like that, before it starts to come over and back to the body, just like that. So once that's correct, go ahead, draw it in. Very good. And we have a nice oval right here. I think we're starting to, to get the bee's face in. Just a small oval towards the left side of our face. There's a little uh, triangular shape right about here. Kind of like a triangle. It curves around and comes back up like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little bit smaller actually. We don't want it to be too big. Just like that, perfect. And then finally, we can extend these legs and these come out into little rounded shapes just like that, almost like little teardrops or raindrops. So I'm gonna go ahead, extend those. They're not very long, just extending those legs. And then again, right here, kind of a little oval. This one is a little bit wider. Excellent. And we're going to add a few more petals. So I'm going to start over here. Looks like this one overlaps about right here. Comes over and around and down like this. Very nice. And then we have another one that curves. It's a little more loopy. So I'm going to go ahead and come around just like that. I'm going to mark where it meets this petal here and bring it down and curve it around, just like that. All right. Very good, and let's keep going. So let's go ahead and erase this little bit in the wing. We're gonna erase the inside of the leg so they're just one big leg, and we'll move forward. All right, so inside of the oval that we made in the bee's, uh, for the bee's eye, we're gonna add another little curved line that's gonna make it more of an eyeball. So just like that, we can go ahead and add this line here that's going to be inside of the body. It looks like it's going to start right about here. It's gonna hit this leg, and then it's gonna come around just like that. Perfect. All right, we're gonna add another wing up here. Looks like it's gonna start about right there and come to about right here. And it's 
gonna come straight up, it's gonna curve upwards and then come back down. All right, very good. And actually, it's not as long as I made it out to be, so I'm gonna shorten that just a little. All right, very good. Next, we're gonna add these little tiny curved points on the legs of our bead. So they're just really small and they curve at the ends. Go ahead and get those in. This one's more of like a shark tooth, as is this one's a little longer and comes to a point. Very nice. We have a few more petals here. It's one that's gonna come up and over and back down like that. And then one over here that's going to be slightly curved. It'll come around just like that. Perfect. Let's keep going. Go ahead and erase the little bits uh, of these lines here so that the legs are continuous. We're gonna add another wing up here. This one is pretty small. It's gonna come up like this and curve back down. Very good. We're gonna go ahead and add two antennas. This one's going to come out, straight out, and then curve down and towards the right just a little. And then we have one more. It's gonna be on the outside of the head on this edge and it's gonna come out and down into the right, just a little, perfect. We have a few more petals now. We have one right here. It's gonna come around and up. It's almost hitting that uh, ellipse that we made there, that oval. And then you know what, it's gonna come out a little bit more and come back in, perfect. And then we have a line right here that's going to extend straight down from this ellipse. Almost like a little cake. And we're gonna use that line to start our next petal that's gonna come out and around and back in just like that. Very good. Let's add some triangles on the back of our B. <coughs> so this triangle here is gonna start right about here and it's about that wide and it's gonna come down and around like this. It's kind of rounded. Same with this one, down and around. And last one, down and around. Those. And one more. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and add another petal right here to our flower. This one looks like it's going to start about right here. It's going to come up and over and hit the flower right there. Gonna go ahead, draw that in. Very nice. And we have one petal over here. This one's going to come up and over and around like that. The bottom line here is almost straight. So go ahead, get that one in. Perfect, this is looking really, really excellent. Let's keep building up on those flowers. So right here we have a curved line on the flower. It's gonna come up like this and it's gonna come up and over. There's a, it almost meets at a point. It's not totally a point, but it does curve up and reaches its highest point and then comes back down before it hits that petal before it. So make sure you come up to that point and then back down again. 
very good. We have one over here. This one's just really tiny. It's gonna come up and over just like that. Very nice. Now we're gonna have a sort of curvy line that goes around the ellipse that we've made that kind of touches the inside and the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and just curve that around just like that. It's just some wavy lines. All right, very good. And we're gonna go ahead and erase that straight line. So if you need to erase that straight line and go over your wavy one again, that's totally fine. But that'll be our next step. So go ahead and erase that straight line and I'll go over that curved one again. All right, there we go. We have a nice curvy line for that center of the flower. And now we're going to add the petals that go around it. Now we can't see them entirely because of the angle that we're looking at the flower, right? So we just see little bumps of them, indicating that they're there, but we just can't see them entirely. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this little bump in. This is another petal we can see a decent amount of. And then I see a small bump here, a slightly larger one here, one that goes to out over here to our flower and I'm actually gonna make that a little lower. I made it too high. We have another small one and one more small one before it hits back into that petal over there. So go ahead and clean up any lines you need to. I'm gonna clean up some wiggly lines here. All right. Very good. And after you do that, make sure you get the little veins in the bee's wings. So I'm gonna start with this one here and work my way up. There's a line that starts about right here and comes over to about here. And there's a line that extends from it and then has a tiny one right about there. Perfect, not too much to it. There's a line up at the top here that kind of follows that first line on our wing, just like that. And we have another one that's going to extend from the wing below it. It's gonna come out and curve down. And then we have another tiny little curved line right there. Perfect. Same thing, a curved line, long line that sort of matches that outer edge of the wing. And then again, a slightly smaller line, again, that curves a little, but has a smaller, slightly curved line extending from it. And same thing with our last wing, a long one that goes up like this, a slightly smaller line. And a curved line, just like that. Perfect. We're gonna add some smaller petals in through here just to sort of bulk up that flower. I see a small petal right here. It's just like a little V. It's still a curved line though, curved corner. There's one right about here. Again, just curved. I see one here and one right here. Perfect. And then we'll add these tiny little bumps on top. They're just tiny little M's almost. M for Mary, M for Magnificent. I hope you guys are having a great time doing these projects. Then this one over here has three little bumps, just like that. Perfect. We're gonna add some lines on our uh, petals here, but before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to draw in our stem. Now the stem is relatively wide because our flower is pretty big. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to mark that. Remember when you draw a stem, usually the two lines have a little bit of space between them, but they usually match up. Excellent. And I'm gonna go ahead and add these lines on our petals. Now there's not too many. And just take it one petal at a time. All right, and once you've done that, we're ready to go over it with Sharpie. 
When you go over it with Sharpie, go nice and slow. We want to cover all of the lines that we've made. If you see any lines that you've partially erased but can still kind of see, don't go over those. We want those to be gone. Go nice and slow and we'll go ahead and do that and erase away any pencil lines we have left. All right, once you finish going over your picture with your Sharpie and eraser, we can get started on coloring. So we have this really lovely uh, periwinkle bluish color in the background. I'm gonna use this nice blue for my background, it's what I have, and I'm gonna start by going around my bee and my flower first. I'm hoping this will slow me down so I don't make any mistakes or go over any of my Sharpie lines. You're gonna do little wiggles, apply a medium amount of pressure, and you'll probably still see a little bit of white through your pencil. That's totally okay. Go nice and slow and evenly. All right, once you've got that background nice and filled in, we can start coloring our bee. So there's a lot of different colors here and I'm gonna start with the wings just to get those out of the way because um, there are lots of different browns and blacks that we need to work with on the actual body itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nice peachy color and I'm going to push very, very, very lightly for a highlight along the top of each wing. This is just going to be very light. In fact, the highlight is almost white, so we barely have to push it all. But go ahead, push very, very lightly and get that top part of the wing in. Next, we'll take that same peach and we'll push a little bit harder for the rest of the wing. We'll go over the, with the shadows next. Make sure you don't go over that highlight that you made. We do want that value there. All right, that looks great. Once you have that colored in, you can take a sort of goldish brown and get those shadows. They're mostly along the bottom of these veins in the wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just follow that line and push a little hard so you can see that. All right, so the wings of our bee are done. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and get the yellow parts filled in. I'm gonna do that so I can uh, save the browns last. Um, I wanna make sure I get all of those colors correct. So I'm gonna take this very, very bright yellow and I'm going to fill in the highlights on the different yellow spots on our bee. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit. I see some towards the outside edge of our bee. Just a smidge, but I have a very bright yellow here. A little bit there. And then I see some right here along the top of our B. Just in this section though. The rest of this is brown. And then a little bit right here on this leg of the B. I also made a little line here because this oval that we drew here, only this oval is going to be yellow. The rest of the leg is going to be brown. So, want to make a note of that. I'm going to take this regular yellow now and I'm going to fill in the rest of each yellow section on the body of our bee. We can put our shadow on top of it. All right, and then finally, I'm going to take this sort of uh, goldish yellow and I'm going to use this for a shadow on the yellow sections of our bee. Now, you're gonna to wanna to push extra hard for these sections. Uh, really get those shadows in there and it'll look really nice. The shadows are mostly along 
the bottom of those yellow shapes. All right, very good. Keep those yellows. We're gonna use those later for the center of our flower. So next, I'm gonna pull out the browns and blacks that I have. So we have a light brown, a medium brown, and a black. So I'm going to take this light brown and I'm going to block in where I see those light brown sections. I see it mostly in the head. That's pretty light brown. So you know what? I see a highlight on top of that head. I'm gonna block that out. And I'm going to use my light brown and I'm going to push very, very lightly. That can be our highlight. I'm going to use the same brown to do a highlight here on the back of the body. Again, pushing it very, very lightly. Very good. I see a little bit of a highlight right here and a little one right here. I'm gonna fill those in. Very good. There's also a little bit of a highlight right here on the top of this leg and a little bit on the top of this leg. Very good. I'm going to take this medium brown now and I'm going to push a medium amount and I'm going to fill in the rest of my brown sections. In this section over here, the bottom is really dark, so I'm actually just gonna block that out entirely. I'm gonna fill that in with a dark brown and maybe even a little light layer of black. There's another dark layer sort of blocked in right about here. So I'm gonna leave that section blank, but I'm gonna fill this in with a nice brown as well. All right, from there, I'm going to push extra hard with this brown, and I'm going to fill in those darker sections that I already blocked out. Depending on what materials you're using, you might not have perfect shades of brown each time. That's okay. Try really hard to get those values in there, just like I'm doing now. It might not match exactly, but that's totally okay. Very nice. I'm gonna take my black now and I'm actually gonna go over the darkest parts of my bee, which seem to be the bottom of his body here, right here, and his legs. Again, do your best with the colors that you have. All right, that bee's looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna fill in the outer part of the eyeball with that same black. I'm gonna fill that in, and then I can take a gray and go ahead and fill in next to that. I'm gonna leave just a little tiny oval of white. Go ahead and just color that in, just like that. Perfect, our bee looks great. All right, and I'm actually gonna take my Sharpie and I'm gonna go over this line. All right, last but not least, we're gonna start with our flower or end with our flower. I'm gonna fill in our stem with this light green and fill all of that in. I really love this light green color. I think it looks really, really nice. And then I'm going to take this slightly darker green and I'm gonna block in that shadow that's underneath our flower and extends downward to the right side of our step. So go ahead and fill that in right on top of that green. Very good. Next let's get the center of the flower. Uh, there's a very very light yellow up top so I'm going to take my lightest yellow again and I'm going to fill in the top here. Go nice and light. This is kind of like our highlight. I'm gonna add some 
sort of shadows or, or some uh, value up here with a slightly darker yellow and I'm gonna put that yellow in and around those M's. So we have some highlights in there, but I'm gonna put these shadows on top and that's gonna make that bright yellow even brighter. Perfect. I'm gonna take this same slightly darker yellow, a medium shade of yellow, and I'm gonna fill in the sides of that um, middle part of the flower. And then I'm gonna take this gold, and I'm going to push extra hard right along the bottom and sides of this edge. That's gonna add some really, really nice value for our flower. All right, that looks great. And now that we have that in there, we're gonna go ahead and color the petals. Now, something you should know about the petals is that they are a light blue color. I'm going to use a light teal. and a slightly darker teal, and I'm going to push incredibly, incredibly lightly so they show up as light as I want them to. You wanna be really careful about doing this. So I'm gonna take my darker one first, and I'm going to color in the sort of petals that are underneath, because those are the darker ones. They have a little bit more value to them. Again, I'm pushing incredibly lightly because these petals aren't technically blue, they just have that tint to them because they're actually white, right? Even if you look at a white flower, it has some value on it. We're just using blue to uh, convey that value. Again, push incredibly lightly. All right, I've blocked in those slightly darker uh, petals that are underneath so they will have some more shadows and then I am going to use this light teal color and I'm going to block out where those white highlights are so once I block that in I'm gonna fill in the rest of my petals very lightly with that teal Very good. The white highlights are mostly along the top of each petal and sometimes along the edge of those lines. So look out for those. I'm gonna take my slightly darker teal again and I'm gonna start blocking in some of those shadows. Again, even though they're shadows, I'm pushing very lightly. because We don't want this blue to turn out too super bright. So again, do your best. Apply the right amount of pressure. And now that I've blocked in those shadows on the petals, I think we're done. This looks great. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe, and I hope to see you guys soon.